Um, I just don't have uh, all the words that I need. What the heck? since day 11th I'm not sure what day that is I actually have my calendar in front of me still since last Monday and it's Monday so it's been a week which makes sense because now that I started work and everything um uh I like Mondays and Tuesdays I for sure don't work and Wednesdays sometimes so it's just been easy for me to just vlog twice a week um instead of every day because when I work now, I'm so tired when I get home and I can't vlog throughout the day. Um, you would only get, you know, the morning of me, like, getting ready and then me coming home. And by the time, I'm just dead tired. Uh, so, um, this is not, like, a guarantee and this may not stick this way, but I'm thinking that my vlogs will be Monday and Tuesday. <coughs> so, a couple days ago, I started feeling like I was getting regular people sick. And, um, and then I realized that, okay, it's only allergies. And it's, as soon as I walked into my store, I started to have hives. My phone was almost dead because I didn't charge the night beforehand. And so I couldn't even really use it to like take any like footage because I wanted my phone for driving and things that I would need in case something happened, like more important. But I had hives down my, uh, my neck and then on the side of my neck. Like, sorry, my chest and on the side of my neck. And um, I was often feeling sick. I felt so sick that I ended up leaving work. I believe it was Saturday. Um, I left work at like 1 o'clock. I did two hours, came home, slept the night away. No, that was Friday. It was Friday for sure. Sorry. Um, and uh, re reverse, I was feeling sick throughout the days. And then fast forward, I was feeling sick. And they were like my condition sick. I was having some allergic reactions to the fragrance around me stuff like that and then just two days ago is when I started to feel like I was getting a cold and I realized that everything was coming out of my nose was clear I'm like okay it's allergies but it's the exact same symptoms as what was it like a month ago when I was like oh my gosh it's allergies but I found out I was actually sick and I took antibiotics and they said I had a viral infection like a viral sinus infection I think it was um, but I caught it too late, so they just kind of assumed it was that. Um, so this time I think I'm going to go in now that it's only been two days in and I'm not doing anything today and tomorrow. Um, but it's still clear with a, a few, like, green stuff in my nose. Uh, my throat's very shortened, closed, tight, uh, not as rough as it was yesterday, but... So anyway, I am <coughs> taking care of a lot of business, um paperwork there's a lot more I'm trying to uh, create packages um, trying to really just kind of get things in order because it's been some time since I've really done anything and I still need to raise money for our upcoming um, gala but I will see you guys in a little bit many hours later <laughs> and um, my nose is turning a little pink I keep applying Vaseline on my nose especially like on rose here like this one especially the side is like coarse uh my dad is going to the store to pick up some cough drops <coughs> and some mu mucinex um i've been making more packages down here i've been um pre-recording some stuff for not for you guys but for my documentary type of thing that I will be using um, for my annual gala. And that's pretty much it. I, I made a point for today to just kind of like be home, don't push too hard, relax, but get things done. Because with my working, I haven't got much done when I get home. I don't want to clean. So yesterday, 
I, after I got out of work, I cleaned, or was it, no, not yesterday, maybe it was the day before yesterday. Yeah, it was. The day before yesterday, I cleaned a crap load. Um, oh, I think my dad's home. And, uh, I think my dad is home. I hear something. Hey, my, 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 my dad did not pick up what I needed from him. So, because his car is warm and mine hasn't been moved, I am taking his car. We are driving. We're still on my driveway, so I am not going to be holding the camera. Got my Mucinex. Got my menthol, um cough drops and now going to head back towards the home and stop and get my dad a bottle of wine maybe even something for me maybe to help me go to sleep because last night was a disaster <laughs> so i got the mucinex <clears throat> and i already opened up the cough drops um and uh yeah so my dad he comes home and he's like so I had my phone, but I left my money, my wallet, his ID, everything. So if he wanted to buy something, he couldn't. I legit have, like, maybe as a child, something that I just don't remember because I was too young, have never been sick. Um, <clears throat> like, you know, I know a lot of people who are ill, chronically ill, talk about being sick or on top of, like, being normal people sick or on top of being sick on, your, on top of your, like, conditions. That was a lot of on top of, you know. And I'm never like, I'm like, I don't get sick. I can eat from somebody's food who has the flu or anything like that. Um, but I just don't get sick. And well, <laughs> this is now two times in like a, five weeks I've been sick. <laughs> Twice. Um, but this stuff really works. The doctor told me last time, she, I was like, yeah, I'm taking mucinex. Mu mucin next and she goes that's perfect she goes that's exactly what you need you can't do like the tylenol serum uh, uh syrup stuff so and i always get the i tried this one the clear and clear and cool i guess there's two of them this is for severe like whatever congestion and the other one was not but i have an appointment with one of my cardiologists this thursday it's just really a follow-up, so I may just cancel and just maybe call and leave him a message and tell him, like, I'm doing good. You know, um, you know, having a job now, it's really hard trying to make appointments. <coughs> uh, and then I may make an appointment tomorrow to see a dentist. And that's really about it. Um, work is going well. I did have a few couple of episodes at work. Um... I don't remember the days really I'm just I'm kind of all over the place right now but you know um, they weren't like horrible but they were bad enough that made me go home or one made me sleep in my car for a little bit so <coughs> uh, I definitely can feel the impact from working and then coming home and just wanting to just sleep and do nothing not even clean even though if i get home at 4 p.m i don't want to do anything i just want to sleep until i wake up the next day um but work is it's it's work and i have to kind of get used to it like anybody else maybe maybe a little bit more um and i have to still take care of my body and myself um because i am more important than the job <clears throat> and as long as I'm trying, I guess that's all I can ask for. All right, guys. So I can't stay very long because I rented the Bad Moms movie. I already seen Bad Moms, but the Christmas version of it. So I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited for the movie tonight. <laughs> yes. All right, so I just realized I already seen this one. <laughs> <That's> so stupid. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I wanted to do like a a anniversary um 
video because I realized uh, about three days ago or so, I it just came to me and I go, I don't know why, but I feel like it's been about a year since I've had my um, wheelchair. So I had to go through the emails to find the one that said, hey, your wheelchair is, bleh, your wheelchair is ready for pickup. And I actually picked it up the exact date, which was, I already forgot the date, uh, 1030 or yeah. So like October 30th or something like that. So it's been a year. So it would be nice to have known earlier because then I could have, um, oh, oh, it's way too much. Hold on. So I wish I knew about it like ahead of time so that I could have done it and posted it like the day of, but you know, oh well. So I think I may still do that and kind of just talk about my experience with it in the past year and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, <clears throat> but we'll see. Um, what was I going to say? Um, I just don't have uh, all the words that I need. What the heck? What was I going to say? Um, do you guys journal? So I found this book in my room. So I'm obviously in my bed. And I used to journal years ago, like 10 plus years ago. And then I know that a lot of people mentioned how it's, it just, uh, it's good for the soul and it's good to let things out. And it keeps like a, it's like a memory book. So you can go back and go, Oh yeah, I did this, this and that. And I kind of feel like that's how my YouTube is. So I can kind of go back and go, Oh yeah, this happened on this day, so it's been a, you know, X amount of time. But, like, do you guys journal? I mean, I did it once in this book, um, and it's a page and a quarter, page and a half, and I wrote it in May, May 15th of this year. And I haven't really read it to see what it's really about. Um, and <laughs> my first sentence, which is only three words... I hate journaling, period. Um, oh, and then I wrote, second sentence, uh, is that even a word, journaling? I don't know if that is or not. The funny thing is, in my second sentence, it says not, is that even a word, a word. it says, I that even a word. So there's my dyslexia right there, is I clearly wrote this with the intention of writing, is that even a word? And I wrote, I, that even a word. And I put, probably not. Well, uh, hoping today would be fantastic. It turns out it's just like any day. I fall asleep, reading my very detailed results of my psych test. Five minutes hand... Oh, five minute hand break. <laughs> so... As you guys know, I have like really bad hands and I went and got them tested and I guess I don't have carpal tunnel, but I still could have arthritis. I don't know because arthritis is tested differently or I guess it's not really an actual test. Well, I can't write a lot. And if I write to make my handwriting look very like clean and nice and whatever um, and legible, I have to write very slowly. But to write slowly, I don't, I can't put a lot on to paper because my brain moves so fast and uh my professors when I was in college used to always say you know you your brain acts as if it's a writer and I was actually in school to be a writer so my brain is constantly thinking and my hands don't move as fast and I also have really bad memory so then that doesn't help either because I forget instantly um but if I want to write sloppy which I do quite often I'll just write and I can't write in the lines I'll write kind of all over the place um and I can write a lot more but then when I go back I'm like what the hell did I write I doesn't I can't even understand what I wrote and it doesn't make any sense and the reasoning is is because my hands are in so much pain that I can't write ugly or nice without having hand pain so I wrote the one page and I have just this page and all of this with nothing. 
Anyway, I'm in bed. I'm going to relax. I watched another Christmas movie. I already seen it by mistake. I didn't know until after I started it. It was super cute. And I'm going to take another dose of Mucinex, 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 you know what I mean. And I will see you guys probably tomorrow. Yeah.